However, the work of a young man now, probably going to get more eventually, let me tell you, Nathan Wyburn, is a young man from Abel Vale who has been creating a bit of a stir online. Over 200,000 people have watched him draw Lady Gaga. 121,000 so far have watched him draw Britney, and over 43,000 have watched him create Simon Cowell using Marmite on Toast. Nathan Wyburn joins me now. You're very welcome. Good afternoon to you. Thank you. Yeah, good grief. <laughs> now, this is an innovation, isn't it? Working yeah. these kind of materials, fair play. Yeah. Mama goes on television this morning, you know, hate it, like it, that kind yeah. of thing, you know, all that debate that they have. So, why is it then, do you think, that all these people are logging on to the kind of paintings that you're doing? Um, I think it's because the celebrities that I choose are quite well searched for on YouTube anyway, because they're quite popular celebrities. Yes. So that sort of was a tactic of mine to try and get people to view my work. Right. And that's done me really well. Yeah, quite. And, yeah. and you moved away from pencil and paper. As I said, Mama, I don't yeah. toast as well. Do yeah. these celebrities know about this? They must have waited now. No, that I know of. I've had um, Leon Jackson, who won the X Factor two years ago. Yes. He sent me a message saying thank you for what I did of him. Oh, right. But oh, other excellent. than that, it's been, I don't know if anyone's seen them, though. No. Yeah, quite. Is, is it something in the paper here today about Simon Cowell? Apparently, right. this is his last series now of uh, the X Factor. They reckon right. Sir Elton John is going to. Take over Take from his him. place. So now there's another idea for you. Yeah. Guys. Elton John wants something. Elton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. So how many? Go on. Tell me the truth now. How many slices did you take to do Simon Cowell? Um, it's thirty-six. Thirty-six. Yeah. So you got thirty-six slices of toast now. Yep. That's probably about three loaves of bread. Medium slice. Two ish. Yeah. Two ish. All yeah. oh, right. Right. There we go. Uh, see how much I shop. <laughs> and, and then you sort of what? You toast them first. Yeah. Toast them first. Toast them. Light brown. Ish. Ish. Some a little bit darker. Yeah. So I know roughly where they're going to go. Right. I draw like a grid over the photograph. Right. And then use the piece of toast in correspondence to the grid. Right. And then just go for it with the marmite. So what do you use in the marmite then? A palette of some kind or a knife? Just a kitchen knife, yeah. A kitchen knife? Yeah. Good grief. Yeah. Do you have a picture in your mind or do you have a picture, say, from a, a photograph in the press or something? Yeah, it's usually from a photograph or off the computer screen or something, yeah. yeah. What's your art training then? Um, I, I'm studying fine art right now in Uick, in Cardiff. Are you? Yes, yeah, so it's a little bit different to creating Marmite portraits on toast. But I was going to say, they don't take that for your degree, do they? No, I'm trying to find ways to evolve it. Hopefully I will soon. Yes. Where did this idea come from you? Were you sort of sitting at a, at a table and a flash of inspiration came to you? Um, I read in a magazine that a reporter wrote that you either love or hate Simon Cowell. Yeah, yes. And like that, Marmite. that ah. made me think of Marmite, and I know that... <laughs> Toast has been used as a canvas before, so yes, that just made me go crazy, really. I bet. Which yeah. side of the marmite? Uh, this is a side question now. Which side of the marmite debate are you on? You like it? Or? Um, I'm growing to love it for how good it's doing <laughs> me. But <laughs> <laughs> and you went to Blue Peters, didn't you? Yeah, they called me into to a little interview, and it's yeah. really good. Yes, but the, the trouble is though, if you if you paint now somebody in you know marmite on toast yeah. or do anything in food, yeah, it doesn't last, does it? No. It has a finite life. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's quite a shame, really, because it'd be nice to keep it, but yeah. it sort of stays alive in the photographs and the video evidence. So. Yeah, quite. So, how, when did this first start? Because, you know, this popularity is suddenly mushroomed, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I started uploading videos about two years ago. All right. But there wasn't much views at all until, yeah. like, recently, the past year. Yeah. And now, since January, all this stuff's been happening, and it's... I'm loving it. It's really good. I bet, I bet. Yeah. I bet you can't go into a supermarket now then without looking at food and thinking, now, how yeah. can I use that? Yeah. yeah. I did that once, actually. I was doing this morning around Tesco's. And I was like, <laughs> what can I use next? But <laughs> yeah. And does it have to flow? Like uh, like margarine or something like that? Like, um, like Marmite? Not really. I've recently done a new portrait of Lady Gaga using sugar. All right. So anything that's really movable yes. or spreadable, then I, I'd give it a go. Right. So yeah. you do you have to put something sticky on, 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 say, toast first before you put the sugar on or something? No, I didn't. Um, that was just on black paper. All right. So it's like the black and white contrast. Oh, gosh. Yeah. yeah. It's as straight long, on there. Yeah, as long as I can move it. Yeah. You haven't thought of doing something in condensed milk, have you? Because it flows very well, and I've got a thing no. about condensed milk, see? No. <laughs> <laughs> you have condensed milk sandwiches. Doesn't that smell? Huh? Doesn't oh, it's that lovely. Smell? It's lovely. No. I used to have condensed milk sandwiches. Ask, oh. ask your mother. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fine art it is then at Ewick. Yeah. And uh, what do you hope to concentrate on or specialise in? Um, I'm, I'm in Ewick. I do photography more than anything else. All right. 
but um, I'm hoping to eventually go into maybe children's television, something like what Art Attack or Smart used to be like. Yes, yes. And because that's quite similar to my YouTube videos, so right. hopefully during my time at UX something will pop up. Or yeah, quite. And you do well, all kinds of things. You use all kinds of material, and, and you yeah. do custom drawing for people, do you? Yeah, um, graphite portraits mostly, but I've sold yeah. a few paintings. And Have you? Yeah. All right. So people come along and commission you. Um, because of the popularity my YouTube's had. Yeah. They email me through that, and then email me the photographs, and it's basically done like as if you were buying something off eBay. Right. Quite similar to that. Oh gosh. It's really good. Oh, yeah. So, and you're going to stay with us now throughout the programme, aren't you? I am indeed. Yeah, you're going to be working over there? Yeah. <laughs> and you're not going to tell us what it is? No. No, it's going to be a secret? Yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, and also, I think, I think we might have a challenge, eh? like, sort of Martin and myself. Right. Uh, Kath, I shouldn't mess, not Martin. Kath and myself, we call her Martin, never ever say, <laughs> any formal. <laughs> Kath, Kath in the corner and myself, we're going to do something, if we, if we can do it quickly, using... Spaghetti, I think. Spaghetti. Spaghetti, yeah. It's crazy. It is a bit. I think I'll draw a face and just pull <laughs> the spaghetti as a hair. We'll see what Kath has. Yeah. She's probably more creative than I am. There. Now then, we've got this thing up today. You can pick a, a New York song. Are you right. into New York? I've been to New York. I haven't. I wish. I'd Is love it? to go there, yeah. Hey, well, you keep on going along this uh, route here. Yeah. You'll be having an exhibition. In New York. I hope I so, yeah. I can see it coming here. I can <laughs> see it coming now. So which one are you going to uh, choose then? Um, hey there, Delilah, by Plain White Tees, please. All right, okay. Hang on a minute. Then while I say you, now we'll be back in the, uh, throughout the show. So um, we'll watch how you're getting on. But Nathan is, is uh, well, you know, if you want to look at our webcam at bbc.co.uk slash Radio Wales, there's a link to the live webcam on our homepage, and you can see what's happening there. So what was the song again? Um, hey there, Delilah, Plain White Tees. There we go. That's it. That's great. With Marmite, there is a, a very strong, pungent smell of Marmite in the room, isn't it? I'm is that, is that Marmite over there, Nathan? Yep. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. And, and he's drawing a very attractive young man with a very bushy beard, Roy. Yeah, really? I don't, don't know if you, you can guess I'm who. holding my stomach in, Nathan, as you go. <laughs> it's, it's looking really good, actually. He's got how many rows? Three rows done. We've got the hair, the forehead and the eyes done. I'm sure he'll go back and do some shading. But uh, have a look on the webcam and you yeah. can keep up to date with the image by going to bbc.co.uk slash Radio Wales and click on webcam. And there it is. They're working away there. Hey, do your best. It could be a bonus in this for you now, Nathan. You never know. You never know. You know, it could be hanging on my wall. Over there, just for a short while. Oh, it would stink, Roy. <laughs> just for the last. Ah, now the name to us. With us now, Nathan. Nathan Wyburn of Ebervale. Artist extraordinaire, let me tell you. He's been working in Marmite now. He's moving on to other fields. Before we met, um, leave Marmite, though, and, and the wonderful creation you did of me there, fair play. You were very kind to my features and my fizzle, I have to say. Um... You've been in touch with Marmite, or Marmite have been in touch with you, have they? Yeah, um, they want me to work with them on one of their next advertisement campaigns. They're running a sort of election alongside the real election now, a love yeah. party and a hate party. Yeah. You may have seen there's started to be videos, I mean adverts, yeah. out for the love party. Now I'm going to be one of the people yes, I've seen working that. with those, and it's on their website. Yes. So you can look, keep a look out for that. There's one on this morning. So yeah. right? He's throwing it in the bin. Yeah. Out of sight, out of mind, he said. Yeah, that's, that's probably right. the hate party, yeah. That it is the hate party. Yeah. yeah, great. And there are other possibilities now. We talk, we're talking products and we're talking Marmite. You can't yeah. say too much about other products, of course, no. but other fields you can work into. And, and, of course, companies that are synonymous with producing that particular product. Yeah. You mentioned sugar earlier on, for yeah. instance. You know, there's one particular possibility. Yeah. But there are others that we won't mention because there may be other artists out there with thinking, yeah. I'll do that before he gets in. And they'll steal it. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> that won't be good. <laughs> it won't be good at all. No. Now then, we are, I'm just uh, rushing it a bit here because we're doing our little own creations there, okay? Yeah. So there we are then. Uh, do you want another little choice of new, any over in New York? Do you see? Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, have a look. Yeah, can we have the Alicia Keys one on, please? I like this one. Well, there we are. Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys. Alicia, okay. Great, we love that one. Oh, truth. Oh. Only just got you. <laughs> Only just got you. <laughs> Sneaking back there from my working little station when I've been doing my piece of uh, work, work here, and, and uh, Nathan's going to judge it now, actually. You finished yours, Kat? Yeah, I finished mine. Shall I talk you through my creation? Go ahead. So we had 21 minutes, mm-hmm. a half a pack of linguine each, yeah. um, a piece of paper and some cell and we had to create something using food, right. which is what Nathan does. And mine is, see, I've raveled up some um, linguine there to make a trunk of a tree. And then I've layered branches. I did one layer, covered it in sellotape, and then did another layer of the branches of my tree. And I had a couple of minutes at the end, and I've added a little Easter bunny. 
Oh, yeah, no, see? Uh, yeah, see? Very good. It's Fitting just, in with the yeah. time of year? But uh, deep down, deep down, Nathan, <laughs> if you look past the philosophical <laughs> messages that you're being blinded with at the moment, <laughs> we are talking a tree here, aren't we? <laughs> we it's are. a tree, yes. Yeah, but a it's tree. a layered tree. Uh, yeah. <laughs> look at this now. We are talking now. Remember where you're from now, then? Heads <laughs> of the Valleys, yep. right? Yep. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is now something more exotic. We're talking Hong Kong here. Yeah? We're talking yeah. the harbour. We're talking junk. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, tell us what you've done there, Roy. Yeah, actually, I've done uh, t- uh, two sales up uh, here, and it's a kind of a, a sampan typey junkie. Uh, see, Shan's come in, and she she knows a, a little sampan. I spotted she... junk straight away, Roy. <laughs> I, I, you know, I know junk when I see it. Exactly right. There, yeah, so we go from a distance, probably five or six miles would do that. You know? <laughs> it's not bad, actually, Roy. I knew it was about. You've got a bit away. of a cabin going on there on the a back. Bit, a cabin you? on the back, see, some uh, sort of structure. Time, yeah. I nearly nearly went to put a little design on the on the on the. Uh, Sales oh. as well, but I didn't. But have time. we might not have known there were sales then. Yeah, exactly. If you'd, if you'd right. added a bit yeah. more detail. Yeah, there we are. There we are. Let me hold it up for you, Ian, so you can take a nice photograph of that. So, Nathan, what do you think? <laughs> I think they're both very good. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm, I'm, I'm not, not going to choose a winner now. I don't want to fall out with anyone. <laughs> I said you were brilliant. <laughs> 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 it's sheer excitement then. <laughs> Listen now, um, Sean. Now that you're in here early, we got we got choices here. Nathan, you can make me work many now, thanks. Yeah? M- m- it's excellent, isn't it? And your yeah, work over wow. there is tre- absolutely tremendous. We have a little you. junk is going to be working. Out. It's not worth it, but I'm money one day, one yeah. day, one day. Uh, but uh, the trouble with the artist is you've got to be really famous. You've got to be dead, haven't you? Um, true. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. You've got to break that mold. I don't well, plan. Nathan, it's got a long way to go. <laughs> then, you've it? got to break that mold, no, Nathan. We, we, you know, so. we famous before long. We're working all kinds of material. But that and Marmite and Tour is quite extraordinary. It's going to go far. See it on television before long. Heard it here first, okay? Yes.